Okay. Okay. It's recording. That's good. So, ladies, let's see. I'm in a very comfortable so, position. Um, mm -hmm. If I click it Go off ahead. mine because I'm not seeing you, it's okay. Yeah, that's it's okay. Just you, you leave see message. Me. Can you see me? Yeah, just do got it, and it will come to to to. Oh, your sister's out. Oh, yeah, she got. I think, when she, I think when she did it, instead of leaving. Oh, hold on for a second. She came so out. Let me, so she'll come back. So let me, okay, let me. Let me see. Okay, let's do that. How is it now? It, uh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, is that good? Yeah. Okay, so ladies, thank you so much for joining. We always start with easy breathing and relax and going to start stretching. Okay, and so please go ahead and sit in a very comfortable chair. Oh, is, if it is not comfortable, that's all right. Just sit on the edge of the chair. So I want your hands just on your thigh and your feet just relax. And let's draw your shoulders back and down. And spine very long, that like your ears and your shoulders in one line. Okay, and chest open. If you want to close your eyes, you close your eyes. Or maybe you have closed. And I want to start breathing. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Every time you inhale, you should feel like your chest open, your belly is in. And when you exhale, your chest fall and your belly is out. And that's two, two more times breathing. And breathe out. And one more time. Now, as you are ready, I want to roll your arms to the front. Just imagine you're just like a walk waking up and open your chest and open your arm, your bicep next to your ears. And I want you to drop your arms like a rock. <sighs> okay, let's do three more times. Open your chest, your arm towards the ceiling and open and slightly arch your back. Keep your chest open and drop your arm like a rock. <sighs> That's two more times. So next time when you drop your arm like a rock, I want to exhale. Imagine somebody punch your stomach, okay? And give me a deep breath, exhale out. <sighs> so we're gonna get all the toxin out of the body. Let's do one more time. <sighs> Good job. Now all your feet, just a little bit outside your shoulders. Sit a bit long. We're gonna make some circle, our spine uh -huh. up. So imagine you're melting uh -huh. out. So make a big circle. And your two butt cheeks, make sure you sit on the mat, on the floor the whole time. Not the floor, sorry, the chair. All right, and chest open. Your head, you should not have to move too much because I do not want to get dizzy. Now, if you come to the center, let's do reverse. We're just warming on the spine. Good, and to the center. Now I'm gonna feet on the shoulders with the part. Now your arm open, right? I want you, just imagine you're trying to reach on your left side. If something, you're gonna reach, reach, reach. And make sure your right butt cheeks sit on the chair. Gonna turn the other side. Make sure you keep your shoulders away from your ears. So drop your shoulders. I don't want you to pick up your shoulders, become a turtle, has a turtleneck. Let's reach. Like tall, you try to reach some stuff from the cabinet. Let's switch. So you should feel a little stuff on your side, right? And drum your arms like a rock. Roll your shoulders. So now we're gonna stretch some shoulders first. So your arm to the front, cross over, and the other arm, just like give them a shoulder, right? So I want you to feel your deltoids. So you're gonna look at your left shoulders and your right arm kind of points to the left side, the bottom, towards it. 
So you can feel hope on your stuff, on your deltoids, on your right side, right? And let go, go your shoulders. Let's try the other side, cross over. So make sure your, your, your elbows to your chest. Now look at your left, right shoulders. And now you're gonna turn to your right side. So you can feel your deltoids. So the deltoids on the side of the shoulders, that's how you should feel. And let go to the center. Okay, roll your shoulders. Now I want to interlace your hands like this, right? Interlace your hands like this to the front. And go to, go to the front. Make sure if you can see your biceps should be next to your ears. Now your hands behind your head. I want your elbows towards me. Now I will gently push your head down, chin top, your chin to your chest, and your elbow towards the floor. So that the gravity dragging your neck. So you can feel that there are two big muscles on the back of your neck and you should feel it. And gently pull yourself up and chest open. Are you feeling that? Because uh, two muscles, it, it's yeah. very tight. If you, like me, sit in front of the computer. Let's do one more time, elbows towards me. And then the gravity, you chin top, chin to the chest. Okay, very good. Gently push yourself up. Very good, let go of your hand. Roll the like shoulders. Good, now we're going to, let's do our legs. I want you, your feet, one foot. Oh, you have, do you have these? Yeah. Your, yes. uh, anybody, everybody has the yoga strip. If you do, that will be even better. But let's start, we're going to do this. Let's do this one first. So look at my foot, my right foot toes towards me. Okay. And my left foot, my knee should be above your ankle. So make sure you sit firm, right? So I want to toes towards you, you are on your heel. On your left, right side, I want to gently, make sure your two butt cheeks are on the chair, gently push forward. I want you to, don't run your back, you should be back flat like this. So don't do this, don't do, do that. Good. Back should be flat and gently, if they can touch your knees, touch your knees, and maybe some of you are even more flexible, you might want to touch your shin. And the lower you get, you can feel your hamstring, the back of your leg. Oh yeah. <laughs> and take a deep breath, maybe, and then when you do, if you want to give a little bit more deeper stretch, I want to suck your belly in, suck your belly in to the spine, and then go just a little bit lower. You should also feel your lower back too, right? Yes. And the back of your leg, hamstring. Yes. Good, and gently pull yourself up. Oh. Okay, tap your foot. <laughs> Great job. Hamstring tight will cause your knee pain and your lower back pain. Okay, so our muscles are very interesting. Our body, everything is connected. So when somebody tells me, oh, my knee pain, so usually I say, okay, there are some muscles are causing you very tight. A same song, the other side, make it your right, make sure your knee above your ankle, your foot should be flat, right? And toes towards you. Gonna to stay on your left side, like gently push something, belly to your thigh, belly to your thigh. If you just stay here, that will be perfectly fine too. And maybe you wanna go just a little bit forward, but make sure you two butt cheeks on the chair, right? You shouldn't be off the chair. Stay, it does not need to be very low as long as you feel the stretch and suck your belly in, maybe you can go just, maybe just a little bit lower. It's great stretch for your hamstring. Ooh. It's very good. Okay, take, gently push yourself up. Good. Okay, <laughs> tap again, oh. right, yeah. You guys all right, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> now let's do a piriformis muscle. The four muscle is a big muscle. There's a two butt cheeks attached to it. And sometimes we're causing our side nerve pain, right? We're shooting pain on the side to the leg. We're gonna stretch. The only reason that it's always tight, most of the people are tight is because we sit a lot. So yeah. I want you to sit on the edge, look at your knee, 
your right, your left knee should be above your ankle, right? Your right knee should be above your left knee. Now on top, I'll be above. The ankle should be at top, above, just for protection on me. Your foot should be the same direction of your right knee. So check, this is very important. Now use your left hand, the palm, grab it, grab it, grab like this, or you wanna put your elbow, your knees above your elbow, the elbow crease. You can do this, like rock like a baby. We're gonna open our hips. Good, rock like baby. So out your back, now put it back. We're gonna push your right knee down in thigh, the, the, the thigh. So gently push it and your toes towards your knee or maybe elbows. And maybe if you want to give a deeper stretch, belly to your thigh. Belly, make sure your back should be flat, gentle. So let's take a three, three deep breaths. Some of you might be flexible. You might want to go all the way down. Oh, right, no. But key is suck your bellies in. So you can feel your, your thighs and also stretch your piriformis too. And also that your hips open. Oh. Oh, great job. Keep yourself gentle, gentle. Okay, let's cross the leg like a lady. So let's check. Make sure your knee above your ankle. Of your, the back of your left. Press the outside of your right knee. Okay, so I want you to imagine if there's an extra something on your belly, remove it, suck your belly in, and gently look at your right shoulder. Oh, Let's go spinal twist. Gentle, and take one more deep breath. Belly's in, and maybe, maybe just a little bit more stretch. You know, our spine, usually we don't really stretch as much, but this is a very good stretch for the size of the muscles. Okay, then, then when you finish, put your head, go back to the center first, and let go of your hands, and let go of your, your feet, uncross it, and tap back and forth. How are you feeling, ladies? Good. You guys all right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> your friend's going to say, wow, we're doing this again? <laughs> okay, same song, the other leg, all right? Same song, the other side. So look at your right foot. Your knee should be above your ankle, your right foot. And then your left foot, the first, so it should be the direction of your knees. And if you're ready, that's knee. Maybe you want to put on the elbow crease, or maybe not. Gonna rock like a baby. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, Lord. Look good. <laughs> There may be a small baby, a big baby, either way, they are the babies, right? Now, um, cross your leg. Now, I want to put your, your left hand pressure just a little bit. Remember, stretching should not be hurt, okay? Any areas that you say, I stretch, I come hurt so much, don't do it. You have to listen to your body. Your body is very small. When it hurts, then you do it too much. What about so the contraction? Sorry? I'm getting muscle contraction in my stomach. <laughs> so when that contraction in my stomach, I want to relax. I know sometimes we kind of spasm, right? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I haven't used those so, muscles in years. It's waking up. So when that happens, I want to do this. <laughs> yeah. And and that relax and that those spasms go away. I mean, that happens to me when I started these two. Like, oh, what is this? My yeah. muscles. I did not even know I have those, all right? So let's go ahead and gently push out, right? Your left shoulder, elbows on top of your inside, on top of your left knee and push down. And maybe, maybe I want your back, make sure your back is flat and suck the belly in and gently push over. So you can feel your glutes, your good performance and even let your left hip open. And take a deep breath and gently push yourself up. Yeah. Good. Remember, stretching should not be hurting. And if you cannot smile, you do it too much. Cross your leg like a lady, your left, your right hand, the back of your left hand on the outside of your left knee. If you have a chair, you can grab the back. So gently twist over, look at your left shoulder. And maybe you wanna suck your belly in and can do a little bit more spinal twist. 
before you finish, let your head come back first and let go of your hands and uncross, uncross your leg and tap it up. You guys okay, ladies? Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Feeling good? So that yes. will be our performance. And let's stretch uh, some big muscles, right? I want you to, because we are doing a yoga, so we are going to do some yoga move. You all can see me, correct? I'm going to sit on the edge, the corner. So we're going to start, make sure your feet are 45 degrees. So we're going to start, put your left elbows on your thigh. Okay. And your right arm up towards your, to the, towards your ear, bicep through your ears. Now I want to gently push over to your left side. Your right shoulders turn to your left. So you can you know, kind of look at either on, this, on your left side, on the wall or whatever, or maybe, or maybe, maybe you want to look at your big bicep on your right side. Good, go gently push yourself up and drop your arm back over. So this leg, your right leg, watch me, you're gonna turn, you see your toes, probably three o'clock. Look at your toes. So heels, you can see my toes, right? My heel, my, my whole foot. Yes. Can you see my whole foot? Good. So you're, then we're gonna open our arm like this. So look at your, your body, your leg, and your left arm should be in one line. Keep your shoulders down, open your chest. Open and look at your left fingers. Look at it. Look at your left fingers. Now I want your back hands, your left, right hand, touch your outside of your right thigh. Your right hand, open palm toward the city and then forward toward the city. And your left shoulder towards your right side. Oh, Jesus. So you can feel open just up, keep your shoulders down. You can feel a lot of stuff. It's a warrior too, right? In the, in the yoga move. Okay, gently go back to royal one. And then come back, let your legs come back and tap it. You guys okay, ladies? Yeah. All right. So let's go back to the other side. Same song, the other song, right? So I'm going to twist my chair like this. So we are doing pretty much like standing. The only difference we sit down for our balance. So let your right arm, right arm just kind of gently resting on your right thigh. Your right left arm on the toward the sitting and bicep through your ears, like a lean forward. Yes. Make sure your two butt cheeks sitting on the chair. All right, you have to really, really concentrate. Make sure your butt don't get off the chair. Good. Ah, gently let it go. And um, now I'm gonna try the left foot. Your your left foot. So your left foot, your toes, about eleven. So look at yourself first, right? Leg straight and this leg, pretty much like the, the beginning. Now you're gonna do warrior one. So open your arm, look at your left hand. It should be on top of like parallel to your left foot, right? And your right arm, it is probably at one line between your foot, your body. Keep your shoulders down, open your chest. Look at your right finger. Open and your right foot, look at your right foot. Don't, do not let it collapse. Make sure you really push out, shoulders down. Now you open your palm, your right hand through the ceiling and your left hand just touch your thigh and just reverse. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> it's actually Sorry. a thigh. No, that's okay. You can feel the stretching. <laughs> open your chest. Make sure your right shoulder is towards your left. So open your chest and make sure you don't do not pick up your shoulders. Your shoulders should be just relaxed. Okay, now go back to a warrior one. Oh god. And let your arm and legs come back and tap. You guys okay, ladies? <laughs> okay. So oh, do you sorry. want to stand up for <laughs> do you want to stand up for a second? Uh, we always like to stand up just for a second, okay? I want to make sure you can all see me. You all can see me, right? Yeah. I want you to see, make sure your hand, look at your feet, 
your feet should be hip width apart. Okay, so watch me, my body like a tabletop, right? Just imagine it will be my, well, it's not tabletop as much, but then look at your, your hands, your wrists, your elbows and shoulders one line, correct? Now I want you to put your forearm, like a plank, forearm on the floor, right? Jesus. So I want you to push your hip, move, maybe you're going to move just a little bit forward towards the back. So I need to, my, today my space is kind of small. Can you see me? Yeah. So this is like a V, correct? I want you to suck your belly. So let your belly kind of try to touch your thigh. That's how you should feel. Not actually touching it, but that's how you should feel. Now I want you to your right hand, touch the outside of your left angle. Okay, outside of your left angle, your right hand. Now go back, let's switch. Your left hand, touch your right outside of your right angle. So give you some stretch of your shoulders. Good, now go back. So your forearm on the on the chair and your your head actually your forehead on the chair too. So the more your belly push out towards your toward your spine, that you can feel your lower back stretch, your hamstring stretch, whole bunch of stress stretch. It's great exercise for your lower back. Okay, good. Now I can put on your hands, your palm on the chair. I want your right foot forward. Your knee should be in line. Your knee should be touching the chair, the edge of your chair. Can you see me? You see me, right? Mm -hmm. And look at your left foot. Your left foot is probably 11 o'clock. Maybe you want to push just a little back. Now, either you can stay like this. How about your arm? Now, we're going to stand up. Right? Keep your shoulders down like warrior one. So, if I, it's just like that, right? But only different is, I'm doing it on the side, my knee touching it, and chest, open your chest, right? Now, next one, I'm gonna do warrior two. So you're gonna open your hips towards me. Change your foot, probably 10 o'clock. Now put your right, your right hands on the chair and your, your left shoulders towards your right side. Okay, breathe. Good. Okay, now come back, come back. Warrior two. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna like let's I'm gonna stretch our back. So step back again. Now your forearm. Anytime you feel like you need to do some stretching for your lower back, this is the safe place. This is like a downward facing dog. The only difference is we are doing it on a chair. Good. Now we are gonna go same song the other side. So I'm gonna switch. You can see me. So I'm gonna. Well, you don't need to switch. I'm switching it just because I want to show you. Right. So I'm gonna use my left, left foot, my knee, my leg, left knee, touching the edge of a chair. My right foot, of one o'clock. Right. My hip, my hip toward the chair. My arm open next to my bicep and chest open. Make sure you press your right foot down so you can feel your calf stretch, your ankle stretch, whole bunch of stuff stretch. Now I'm gonna open the hips towards me, become warrior two, right? So your hip will be squared towards me and your foot turn just a little bit like a two, uh, two o'clock, three o'clock. Now your right hand, left hand touch the chair and your bicep next to your ears. And your shoulders, I want your left shoulder turn towards your right. So your chest open even more. Okay, let go of your arm, let go back to warrior two. And warrior one. Now I want your forearms, push your hip back, be hip with the part, let your forehead just dropping. So let your lower back some stretch. Now I want you to go ahead to alternate your leg, like walking. So one knee straight, one knee bent. You can feel hold on your spine on your back and your hamstring. You guys okay, ladies? 
Okay, gently push yourself up. Now sit down. As I promised, we are using going to use this beautiful <laughs> karate thing, right? And I don't know whether you like it or not, but either way, you are going to hate me when we finish. So <laughs> let's look at it first. Your thigh should be together, right? Keep with the part. Do you all have these? Well, if you I don't have, have it, style. borrow somebody else. Okay, okay. Yeah. You're going to put on the ball of your foot. Now arch, look at this. Ball of your foot, right? Your arm open, uh, arm towards the floor, and it Look at your thigh should be the same height. So two thighs should be the same. Let's start, how, that's how we're gonna start. And with your toes towards you, your heel away from you, okay? And I want you to use your bicep, arch your back, gently push your leg, just as you before. Just imagine you try to stuck your toes towards your ears, well, your nose actually, that's how you should feel. The higher you go, make sure you arch your back, the higher you go, the more you can feel your hamstring. Oh, Lord. And I want to encourage you to do this on the bed. Okay, so we can get it feel even more. Because when our hamstring tight, we're causing our low pain. And your knee pain too. You feeling this? Good? So yeah. if you're on your left side, left uh, right leg, I want you to grab the right hand, the, the, the strip. And I want your leg not moving, your hip staying. You're gonna stay on right side, right? And same thing, toes towards you and heel away from you. Now I want to bring your toes, like you try to push your, stuck your toes towards your ears. Maybe, maybe not, right? Make sure you arch your back. Now I'm gonna switch the other leg. This one is the IT band stretch. Now the same thing. Use your bicep to bring your foot just a bit further. And imagine that you are trying to put your toes towards your left ear. That's how you should feel. And if you even want to do more stretching, your right arm open and you look at your big thumb. Okay. And breathe. So you're stretching this IT band. That's a quite a, okay, let go. Are you guys all right? <laughs> Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> Stretch. I needed this so much. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I know tomorrow morning, you can, oh, I'm so, you know, the IT band is the one helping us to walk, right? So those muscles are usually very tight. So we have to stretch often. I remember my mind, I'm going to stretch this every day. So let's look at yourself first. On the right, in the left foot, Make sure your thigh, the same height together first. On the ball of your foot, your toes towards you. I know I'm repeating myself, but I want to make sure you do it correctly because I can already see you. Arch your back, gently, gently. Suck your stomach in, gently push towards you, like nose, you try to start your toes towards your nose. Make sure your legs straight, please. The more leg you, if you bend your knees, you might not feel as much. Arch your back, suck your belly in, maybe just a little bit higher and stay here for like 10 seconds maybe. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my doctor wants me to stay for 10 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna have you stay for eight seconds, how's that? So <laughs> grab the left hand, gonna open. Now make sure two butt cheeks on the chair, right? Grab it toes towards your heel away from you. Use your bicep and just imagine you try to put your, your leg toe, your left toes stuck in your left ear. Okay, open your chest, arch your back. Good job. Now I'm gonna switch over. I did bend stretch, right? Now it's like same thing, your toes towards you, heel away from you and move, use your bicep to pull just a little bit close to your ears, maybe. Now I want your right arm, left arm open. I want to look at your big thumb, your left thumb, and breathe. Let's stay here for 10 more seconds. And breathe, maybe closer, maybe one, maybe just a little bit higher to touch. Good, let go. Okay, how are you feeling, ladies? On top. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm good. You're good laughing, right? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Job. That's good. Okay, I'm so good. ladies, I want to show you one more. I don't know if you can do this or not, but I want to show you because I want you to do it after we finish. Okay, it has to be on the floor, on the, on the bed. But this is so important. So let me show you how you will do it. So when you all finish, before we say, when we say, after we say goodbye, right? You can see me? Yeah. yeah. You can see me on the floor, right? You only need to see my feet, right? So I want you to turn like this. Mm -hmm. So two knees together to one side, two knees together to the other side. Mm -hmm. So kind of flip back and forth. We are trying to open our hips even more because every exercise, our hips are very tight. Right. Yes, mine is so very do that. So do that for like 30, 30 seconds, a uh, 30 times. Right, two, three, four. Okay, will you do that? We finished. And let's do one more stretch that calling tomorrow. We are gonna stretch this. There's a big muscle attached from the bar, about L4 and 5 to our hip. It's called psoas muscle. So psoas muscle, I'm gonna stretch like this. I'm gonna on my knees. Okay, so I'm gonna push forward. Mm -hmm. I push forward. If you don't want to sit on the knees, so what you're gonna do is this, look like this. Do you see that? Yeah. Right? Well, I'm pressing the back, the, the top of my foot down. My knee down. Okay, and I, I'm gonna push my body towards my chair. So you're gonna feel a whole bunch of, so you're feeling your core muscles and you also the, the big muscle that calling, you probably can feel it. The stretch. Oh, take a deep breath. Good. <laughs> I stretch the other side. Trust me, I'm feeling it. Okay, so let's do that again. This muscle- Not my is, age. We, no, nothing to do with the age. Trust me on this. This muscle is, is tight and we all have to stretch. So you can press the, the top of your foot down and knees down and leg straight and then you're gonna lean back towards your foot. So you can feel, how you feel this whole big stuff? You should feel it, right? All good. good. And okay. take a oh, very good. Okay, and tap your foot back and forth. Jeez. Great job, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. I think it's already 7.48. I want to respect your time. Let's kind of relax for two seconds. Is that okay? So I want to breathe. And I know some of you might not be able to sleep at night. And one of the things that I, there's a sleep expert said, when you couldn't sleep, what you should do is just keep the light dim the whole time. And let it on the bed and just relax. And one way you can do is just tell your body to say toes, relax, ankle, relax, calf, relax, your knee, your thigh, your hip, your belly, and your chest, and breathe. Just keep telling yourself, breathe. And name each part of your muscle, your body, and let it relax. That's one option. The other option is maybe listen to some story. But this volume of the audio book has to be so low. So the rhythm, your heart, and the sound of the voice to be in sync and the cadence is so slow and slow and slow and eventually you're gonna drip off. I want you to try that, all right? So let's, open, let's see in the edge of the chair, let's open our arm, make a wind, take a deep breath. Let's do two more times, just take some oxygen and take some God's love and blessing and all the friendship all the good health he's going to give in it. And put your hand in the heart center. I want to say not much there. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Any you. comments? How did you like it, the new lady?